It's felt like a saving grace for parents juggling kids at home, school at home, and jobs at home. Technology keeps us connected to loved ones and information. But the companies that make these tech products don't do it for our families. They do it for money. Lots of money. And that means they don't have kids' best interests at heart. Kids watch videos on YouTube. They connect with friends and family on TikTok and Snapchat. But those apps and others have highly addictive features like autoplay, streaks, and recommendations that work to keep kids watching hour after hour and push them towards more content, even harmful content, in order to make more money. Cameras and tracking devices are everywhere in kids' lives. While they walk to school, products like Amazon Ring track their route, whether or not they're alone, and what they look like. Storing these details in ways that can be hacked. In school, many kids are forced to take quizzes and tests with software that collects and shares a lot of personal information about them. When they do homework, their computer and the apps on it often watch them using the same tools that stalkers use to track their victims. Even when they sleep, a Fitbit might tell a database somewhere their heart rate and whether or not they dream. As children live their lives, tech companies like Facebook and Google build a secret profile using their private information, vulnerabilities, and curiosities. Data is the new oil. And kids' data lets companies sell profitable ads, even those that undermine their self-confidence or manipulate their thinking. All this, addictive apps, constant surveillance, and invasive data collection, makes tech companies rich. But what does it make kids? Addicted. Watched. Targeted. Unsafe. Learn more and make it stop at nchildsurveillance.com.